Now to more breaking news this afternoon. The Trump administration just released a major ominous climate change report two weeks earlier than planned. Uh, this is a government report that focuses squarely on the human impact of climate change. People here in the United States, and it really peels out real life examples of how climate change is already impacting our life when it comes to health, the economic costs, the impact on our transportation infrastructure. So I'm more than 15,000 scientists are sounding an alarm about climate change. They call it a warning to humanity. You say you love your children above all else, and yet you're stealing their future in front of their very eyes. Until you start focusing on what needs to be done, rather than it's what is politically possible, there is no hope. Dear daughter, I think about you a lot. I think about those big eyes of yours and the first time I saw them. I remember your tiny hand and it wrapped around my finger. Your little laugh <laughs> always brightened my day. <laughs> Being a mother was always my dream. Ever since I was little, I wished for a family of my own and a big house filled with love. I still remember going to the beach and building little houses with everything I could find. I used to imagine I lived there with my children, and then playing under the sun and trees, running around, going outside for a walk, feeling the breeze while my children played. I still remember your first steps. I was so proud. You've always been a smart little girl. You amaze me with your skills and beauty every day. You grew up so fast. I'll forever cherish when you got home from your first day of freshman year. You were so happy. Or when you went out on your first date with, what was his name? You had never looked so pretty. I'll never forget how great that pink dress looked on you. The uniqueness of your smile and your beautiful hazel hair. You did so good at school. You were so gifted. I had never been so proud. Watching you grow and become the amazing woman you were was the very best taste of life. As a young woman, things started getting more difficult. Things were so bad, no one even knew where to start. Conditions were horrible. We messed up. No one moved a finger. What were we supposed to do? Freeze the oceans again? Put trees back together? Bring dead animals back? It was all too late. Everyone's desperate, little one. There's nothing left. We're all just waiting for that last bump of oxygen. Not even the rich can save themselves. Imagine the poor. People go crazy in these situations. It's a war zone out there. It's scary, not knowing what's going to happen after that last breath. All we know is that it will end soon. We have a countdown.
Who would have thought natural resources would not last forever? Why were we so ignorant to our problem? No one listened. No one did anything. We all avoided the issue until it got too big for it to be solved. Now we're facing the consequences of our actions. My only consolation is the thought of you, little one. Oh, how I wish I could be with you. Oh dear, I wish I could have seen you play beneath the sun with water before it ran out. I wish you could have taken fresh air before it all became smoke. I wish you could have seen all kinds of animals, maybe some insects too. I wish I could have met you. I'm sorry we ruined your chance to live. Maybe if we had taken a little care of this damn planet, you could have existed. Maybe I could have been a mother. Only God knows and only God can forgive us. How foolish of us, destroying the home he'd created. Now we can only hope for another chance at life. One where maybe you can live and not make the same mistakes we did. My only wish now is that when it all is over, soon enough, some memory of our society is left behind and can be a lesson for new ones. Oh, my little one, I would have loved you so much.